Hey, what's up you guys? Taking a look at Beatles Pinball Machine. Now, some of you already know that this game's play field is meant to be kind of like a pinball machine from the 60s or even 70s. There's no ramps and it was, you know, it's made to have an old-fashioned look. They made that choice. I like this game. Um but some may feel that it, they get bored after a while because of the lack of ramps and a lot of modes. But for people who like to shoot drop targets... I like those odds. Oops, that's Mandalorian over here talking. Um, it's a lot of fun. Um, it's also not too hard to win free games and extra ball. And extra ball is done by getting all the all sets of the drop targets and then extra balls lit. I like those odds. Now, from Liverpool, England. some of the art here shows some Beatles collectibilia. Like, see how it says Beatles color photos, bubblegum? That's kind of like those Star Wars packs I have, wax packs. And for five cents back in the day, if you would have known just to buy up boxes of those Beatles bubblegum card packs and not open them if you would have had the vision back then I mean we're not talking thousands but we're talking hundreds that's for sure Beetle record player that's pretty neat because even though this is before my time I'm aware that these are some the Beatles fan pin and here's like a Beatles ukulele actually it says guitar on it but there's only four strings makes you wonder if it's a little a bass like Paul's, or does it play more like a ukulele? Um, other Beatles mail congas, lunchbox, hell yeah, um, banner, thermos. These are things my mom, even though she's a girl, would have had. And there's a uh, my mom went and saw them uh, in Shea Stadium twice. Um, anyway, it's a good game. I'm a big Beatles fan, and uh, they're the real deal, man. It's pretty lame when people try to call them a boy band. It's like, nah, come on. Boy bands, to me, are when you just sing and dance and don't play an instrument. And I have nothing against singing and dancing, but when you're playing an instrument and singing, I think that's another level. I mean, there is kind of a multiplier thing that happens by hitting enough of the the drop targets. So there's a little modern scoring and multiplying factored into the basic layout. And, uh, but that's the Beatles pinball machine. It'll probably not be here too long. And it says a dollar per game, two bucks, three plays. <laughs> and yeah, they have Paul McCartney. Most must have been recent that he added, lent his voice for this, uh, game and he sounds old in the recordings but I think it's really neat that McCartney got involved I'm a big Paul McCartney fan I think he's a living legend and Beginning self -destruct countdown. I think he's a great bass player and uh, these guys knew how to play live man look at all that that's the real deal man look at the Vox speaker it's well thought out um, it's a good game Meanwhile, I've been here three hours playing Jurassic Park. I keep winning free games because I'm that good. I'm just that good. All right, well, I'll talk to you guys later, and uh, take care.